Hey, 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 my name is Paul Shinks and welcome to another episode of Don't Forget Our Esports Dream. So, here we are, the school again. Anyway, just as longer! Matt mumbles something, but I can hear him properly from inside my backpack. One of my classmates, seated next to my um, next to me, turns and stares. Uh, did you say something? What? No! Weirdo. A minute later, our teacher dismisses the class. For I'm in the third row back, I'm first out the door. I don't know why I'm rushing. She's sure to be there and doesn't have anywhere else she wants to go. But it feels like I need to get this done right now. I like every wasted second is one that she will need for all the hug ones she's missed. Yuna could be hiding in any of the golden zone fires many cozy corners now, where is she? An energetic middle school crowd huggles to huddles together in one of the easels. Whereas, whereas the solitary and slouched MMO players are more spread out. This search might take a while, especially if she's sleeping. But no, my search is over before it even begins. Because she's sitting right at the front desk alone. Oh. Eh, uh, time? Eh, uh, what? PC time, do you want some? Uh, where's Mr. Clerk? He's out, if you want time, you get it from me. Oh, well, already have time on my account. Ah, uh, right. Are you okay? I haven't seen you at school in a whole week. Hey, of course I am. I've got a place to stay. I can read and study whatever I feel like. I'm even making money for the first time ever. Ko is fair about it too. That's great. If you're happy, I'm happy too. Why wouldn't I be? It beats killing myself at school and hug one every single day. Just then one of the middle scholars screamed so loud that Yuna jolts in place. I know what you mean, it's been hard, with less than a month ago I've been pushing myself as hard as I can. But you know why I'm a little worried. What for? You've done all the ridiculous and crushing chores considering considered baselines for the SAT. Yeah, but I'm nervous whether or not I'll score what I want, my practice test didn't go well. I didn't finish on time, and after checking my work, I realized I wrote some of my answers onto the scantron incorrectly. How? Haven't your tutor showed you how to avoid that? Eh, hey, not at my cram school, no. You have to go after class for special information like that sometimes. Look, ah, pull up a seat. This won't take a second. Then you can go get back to Sakrat or whatever. <gasps> okay. That sounded way too excited, stay calm. You have fixed me with an odd look, but pulls out a blank piece of paper and a pencil. After the scribbling, she has it traveling close to the layout of an actual test page. Okay, first of all, always write on the test page. Instructors like to reduce those packets at hug one, but during the real deal, just do it. When you have your answer, circle and then write the letter to the left of the question. Don't go from your question to the scantron. It's slower if you're jumping between the two and kills for focus. All that exists before you is the packet, got it? <gasps> totally! So I wrote all my answers in the sheet at the end. There is an art to it. Three at a time. A C A, B A C, A B D, like that. You'll never forget three letters in a row and it's much rarer to bubble in a mistake if you do it this way. Oh, and you mentioned you are going slow. <coughs> it's important to skip a question if it remotely trips you up. Even if it's something irrational like test anxiety, you just skip ahead. You have to be fast and decisive. It's better to skip a question that was giving you trouble than failing to reach the end before the time limit is up. Those final questions could be the easiest ones on the test. And this goes without saying, but never ever turn in your test early. Whoops! Use every single angle to check your answers if you manage to finish ahead of time. Yeah, that's something that Polish links used to be doing. Always. I mean, technically, I usually, 
it depended on the subject and obviously but at some I was like a machine gun basically so boom 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 it's done oh so much time check 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 oh done oh there's so much time left I might as well give it back right for sometimes I didn't check but whatever anywho but there was when I was like certain I did a good job so or basically I simply don't didn't care anywho oh my gosh there's so much to this uh, wait a second I dig through my bike exciting mood on the table to make more room for my search Phew, glad to be out there ah oh, hello Yuna please don't mind control me again stop here I pull out a full practice packet and drop it on the table between us with a funk, 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 whatever. Dust scatters all around us that Yuna waves away with cuff. I don't feel like going to hug one either. Can you help me study instead? You have to pay attention, okay? That's a sneaky way, actually, to make her learn as well. With Yuna's shift done, we spill out of the golden zone fire together four hours later. I didn't see Mr. Claren, but I did hear the door is to his office open and close at some point. I was just too focused on Yuna's instruction to look up. Thanks for all your help! You don't need to thank me. Just for a while, it felt good to think I had me wasting my time, to see that I could actually help someone. You, you're the smartest person I know! I'll be honest, I don't totally get what it is that you hate so much about everything we're meant to do! I know it's not just that, it's hard. We're not afraid to take on the challenge if it's for the right reason. But what I do get is this, if you don't come back to school, you won't be with me when the rest of us graduate next year. I don't want that! Please come back! There has been a sinking guilt inside me since I left your club. Even if I can justify it myself, to myself, it just doesn't matter to almost anyone else. And I'm scared to go home. There is no getting around that. I can tell her the truth that her parents will be relieved to see her, but I can't promise they will show it in how they treat her. I don't have the power to help her as she just helped me, but I have to try. I'll walk you home, and if you decide against it on the way there, you can stay at my house tonight. Does that sound okay? I reach forward, take her hand gently. She tenses, but only for a moment. And I guess they went. I push past the glass door of the qualification area and breathe a sigh of relief. Can't let close, didn't you? Staying against the wall with a frustrated grin on his face is Axel. Given how early he was admitted the last season, he must have to requalify as well. A first round opponent shouldn't have given me such a hard time. You don't have to plan to disappoint yourself, me. You won't. That means you celebrate. So if you want. Whoever you face next week won't let you make a comeback like that. I should get back in there to watch my teammates. Congrats on the win. Just a few shock T1 guys remain mid-match. Of everyone already stand standing, just Juan and I made it to the next round. It's packed inside the qualification area beyond the glass door. Every licensed programmer starts their XSL run in that room. Except for the four who had the privilege of playing their games as a pre-season featured exhibition at the studio. I considered joining Axel back inside when I remember why I fled in the first place. Jet's in there and her opponent is much stronger than mine was. I don't want to distract her on the risk, watching her lose. Nor is now the time for the conversation we should have already had by now. Good stuff, Sukwan. I turn to find Fierce at my side. As last season's second place finisher, he's already waiting for in the round of 16. Then the guys would make the time to come down here. <laughs> I like to watch, it's all crazy, that so many good games get played in these qualifiers for an audience of none. That and I've been thinking through what happened, my role in it, my priorities. She was just a practice partner, champions don't beat themselves up on behalf of others. Lock made that clear to me. If coming down here to support us is a serial guild, great, but don't act like it was a mistake. Sun Quan, we're on the same team, I'm not your enemy. This game can be conquered alone, you should know that. Beyond the glass wall, I see a flash of red. Through a crowd of a dozen others, I see Jet on her feet with clenched fist and relieved smile. Opposite her, the favored Terran slouched his head back. 
I feel a punk inside me, despite everything I'm happy for and frustrated this isn't over. Suddenly the vice chairman bursts out of the qualification area, he knows me, but says nothing when he passes. Sing one, I want to see you qualify. Let me help you prepare in the next week. Not as favor, but as your teammate. I'm sure that Fierce could do so much for me, no different from Lock or Jet. Should get back to the practice room. Never have I spent a more excruciating day in practice. Everyone that did not directly involve me winning a game of soccer made me want to send a fist through my monitor. It's clear now that I've been using a crutch to suffer through the raw misery that his life devoted solely to performing well at Brood War. The game is fun, wasted all the time, everyone agrees on it, but fun isn't the right word. It feels good to get better, to make progress, to be good, to win, but at some point the progress has to stop. At some point, you lose. I'm not ready to resign myself to the idea that this is as far as I can go, not without knowing it's true. I begin the ritual I've completed every other day since her departure, I check my text to again find an empty, and then I call. But this time the ring stops early, I catch a breath through the speaker, and then a word. Hello? You answered. You've made it clear you won't stop calling, I can at least do you the favor of acknowledging you. Is everything okay? I'm not angry with you, if that's what you mean. No, I mean, are you doing okay? <laughs> Sun Quan, you sound so worried. Should I be over what happened? I'm scared of losing you! <laughs> you and I aren't just partners, we're opponents, that's what our bet is all about. It's what I like about you, and it's what makes you, I mean us, who you are. You're the only one who ever understood that. I force things my way, I should have let you find your way back into programming. You did what you thought was best, I don't blame you for that, and I shouldn't blame fears either. But we all had to do what's best for us. I miss you. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, yeah, I miss you too. Can we meet tomorrow? Yes! <clears throat> but you made it here, but also into the next round. Wow! I permit me sales hug before rushing her off of me. Aside from Cole lazily thumbing through a newspaper and his burnout mid afternoon customers, it looks like Minseo's here. Alone. I'm sorry, but I'm just happy for you guys. Oh my gosh! Just one more game on uh, each until you're officially next sell. Uh yeah, I just hope we both get someone easy next round. I don't need anything else to stress about. Jack told me all about what happened, I wish everyone had gotten along. I still don't know how you feel about it, Shock T1 has good zergs, but it was about more than that. Well, she'll show them. You should hear the way she talks about practice. Jet only ever responds to my text way early morning and super late at night now. Don't worry, Sun Quan. With how hard you guys work, both of you will make it through. I know it. I want to believe that, so I show her a smile in the note. After just a few minutes at station nearby missiles, we are at least joined by Jet. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Wrong voice. <laughs> hey, you made it. Did you doubt I would? It's almost noon. When I refresh the bracket site for the next five minutes. Even if this didn't turn out how I wanted it to, it's a comfort to know we haven't lost these familiar interactions. Miso sways, happy to listen as we recount our matches from the qualifier. Is these new maps you have to play so greedy on them? It isn't even greed anymore. I feel bad for people that build their cars around hard and fast all-ins, or even just the threat of them. I still favor aggressive play. It's part of being a protest anyway. Uh, I can decide how to define my style. Where around that is such a boring way of putting it. You're not the one who gets defined anyway. That's up to the fans. Well, the commentators really. You lean in your, into your opponent, you're flexible, the game's tempo matters as much as your initial game plan. It's like a tricky style that's somehow honest. If I had to give it an over the top title like a caster, maybe I'd call it Honor Among Thieves. I want for her to laugh or at least cringe, but it doesn't come. She's focused on the refresh screen in front of her. Ah, the matches were posted. And looks like in the next round. I'll be facing.
means her lost her chair to behold what has the two us locked in a dumpster. Even she doesn't have anything to say now. Smoke squints at jet screen and that takes a long track. Featured match. Uh, what does this mean? Oh, this isn't fair! Jet says nothing, but her looks has plenty. Well, are you just going to sit there? Already! I should go too. Sorry, Misao. Love you, but we just got back together! I know you guys can practice together now, but you can't even talk! This is the way of things, Ozzy. Ah, nothing to be done about it. Cobra raised his cigarette in an ashray and stepped away. Three words left in his wake. Nothing but fight. I'll see you soon, Jet. I'll see you soon. Good luck, Sun Quan. Coach Kang stands at the rest of the practice room. When I glance in his direction as I step past, he turns away. Sun Quan, I was wondering where you were. I noticed that a few of my teammates are watching me, one with the qualifier matchup on his ma matchups on his screen. Even Fear seems uncharacteristically awkward. He asks a question that he must already know the answer to. Everything alright? Tawan. I drop my back on the desk and start him unrepentant. Unrepentant, sorry. I'll win. But only with your help. <laughs> you will. Another long night spent at Fierce's side. It's no exaggeration to say there is no way the better person I could be learning from. Are you sure it's okay for you to spend so much of your practice this way? It isn't wasted time. If anything, a week of this sort of review might help me figure out the branch into a yet unknown strategy. Even if I dub this through, I resolved not to feel anything either way. I can afford to not weave how Jet must be training. Do you know why I recruited you, Sun Quan? I'm sure that there were other teams that wanted you for your ICG performance. You're aggressive and decisive. Key traits for a good Protoss. But that isn't why I signed you. When I play with Starcraft and listen carefully, I hear a dialogue to every action and reaction. I had every answer to what you had to say at ICG. But I heard you loud and clear. I'm not surprised that Locke still speaks highly of you. You guys talk? Of course! Not as much as I'd like, but man, there is no one I know better than the people I can go all out, all out with. Here's straight off stepping to sit on the couch in front of the PCs. With our teammates long gone, we're at the last players here. Hell, we might be the last in the mall period. You don't have to believe me when I say this, but I do understand how you feel. Brood War is beautiful. As long as there are people left on this world who can appreciate the fact, we'll be just fine. Is this an okay way for a person to spend their life, just playing Brood War? <laughs> I don't have a clue. I just know in my gut that something about this is worth it. Everyone gets so caught up in the web surrounding StarCraft that they forget what it's really about. The conversations that only true competitors can understand. No matter who wins or loses, that's real. This man is a champion. The qualities that I've strived and struggled towards my entire life are simply his na in his nature. I have no answer for his honest zeal. I'm sorry that things haven't turned out great between you and me. I know they could have. Maybe they still can. Okay. Well, I'll be here early tomorrow to warm up. Don't feel obligated to be at the studio. I turn and grab my back. He doesn't answer until I'm on the way out. <laughs> Alright, Sunquan. Good luck. I, I I think he's freaking likable. Almost a full week of hard contact with Fierce hasn't led to any sudden breakthrough, but instead polished and trimmed down the edges of my current style. With just two more blocks to go, I find myself on the edge of a familiar place. Out of habit, I glance inside. Spring along the horseshoe path leading through a park, I see Jet. Aside from the dog walker, Chayong is alone in a num dum park. For a moment, I only watch. If I approach, I won't want to hear everything she has to say. But they need to anyway, don't they? Tayong! Jet turns to punting if she's surprised she's too tired to show it. Took you long enough. I've been running on my own for two weeks now. Thought you might never show. If you aren't going to line up, I can keep trying to beat my best time. Not much difference once you get into it. Hmm. Well, I didn't come to race. What are you afraid of? We're not enemies, just opponents. 
Should I believe that? I know what you do to those in your way. Why should I be any different because it's me? Believe what you want, but I've defended you against every stupid offhanded remark anyone on the team let slip since I joined. They're right about one thing, for you have no skin in the game. You know what? Line up. <laughs> I stuck my way to the end of the saga and dropped my backpack off my shoulder. After her count, we're off. I show Jet no mercy for the fact that she must already be tired from so many laps. She starts behind me and then I can't see her at all, not even as I take the outside curve. curve. I will the 5 pace lead when I crash the finish line with my foot. Fast, too fast, I spin to glower back at her. <laughs> Happy? No skin, what do you think? You don't, not like that fast. You should be more grateful that you're this good without it. Was all that bullshit about loneliness just for a little last second two versus two rapport building? You don't seem to so broken up without me. <laughs> the only thing getting me through this week is logs, admittedly, useful advice and practice at the chance to destroy you, Sun Quan. Playing these games without some sense of disaffection and isolation is impossible. Nobody has an answer, just different selves to ease that pain for a little bit at a time. Even Fierce, with all his obvious confidence, feels the need to organize outings and personally cheerlead his team. He's been where we are. He knows what would have helped him. No, no, he's desperate to relate to us and the struggle he left behind. But he can't accept the truth that Locke has, that it's lonely at the top. And that's where you will be. Damn right! Aren't you there with me, but I'm not waiting. Don't get where you found this contents, you haven't qualified yet, there are forces at work that, you that want you out. I'm not afraid of you, Jet, I'm afraid for you. You would be, what someone... What? S uh, someone mad about how I left Shock T1? Who cares, I can't keep listening to those who only ever disapprove of me. Shock T1. Nice team. I spin to see the guy walking his dog stopped and watching us. Right away I realize that he's out of place, not just that he's afraid of him, but for another reason. I walk past the jet, lips in shock. It's a moment before I die. It's not an exhibition, but the man's name. She says it again. Ak! Ah, you know me! What are you doing here? I'm walking my duck! He smiles and adjusts his glasses, watching as she strikes up to offer him a modicum of respect he deserves. Sorry, South Korea, that's what I meant. Hmm, I love it here, so I never left! I decided to make my life in this country! We haven't heard from you in so long. Are you behind the scenes at the KPGA or Blizzard or something? Mm, nothing like that, I have a look at job, it's very boring actually. Jet and I sure look. Uh, I maintain his simple smile, patient, when we don't answer. His little dog chases its tail, oblivious. Hmm. Boop. Uh, Axel told us about your path through Braver around when you had just come to this country. I remember that day very well! It, I'd only been in Korea for a few weeks, I didn't qualify for that star league until both later. Ah, uh, Hyun Ki was just a child, but that didn't stop him from slaughtering a careless mistake I made. He jumped up and down like he had just won the lottery, but when he noticed my face, he came to say something nice. We don't have many moments like that on the subway or at school. Those who struggle together should care about each other like it's all I cared for me. Whew, interesting. Interesting. Ceremony. You achieved what every programming dreams of. How did you celebrate it? Mm, I'd like to call what I did a dream. Words like that. Wish, I hope. Uh, I know it's not dated, but it, may, it makes it feel fake. Unachievable. That what I accomplished has become so so that it doesn't change what it means to me. You're a fool to think so little for your, of your victory. Sun Quan, you could have more than you're apparently satisfied with. Why turn your back on those that want to celebrate you? Hmm, I got what I was after. I'm happy. Would I be happy if I stayed? Maybe, but I know I'm happy now. Well, wait. I'd be happy if I won more poker hands. I swear some of the fans I found line are worse than a Terran who can only rush. Ah, tell me about it. Don't even get me started on ZVZ gorillas. 
Okay, what's the correct answer here? I don't know, so we'll go with every single one, star sense. You never had the best mechanics or the most polished strategies. Your skill came from your ability to read the game's tempo and make hard calls. Yeah, yeah, my famous star sense. It's simple, you must let go of your dabs and take the side action, and you need plenty of experience. Ah, my love for StarCraft didn't lead me to where my pro gamers are today. I didn't practice all day or lock myself in a house with a thousand others. It was just a game I played with my friends. Of them, I was the strongest. So I decided to go where I could test myself and found that I belong. What? What about winning? Didn't you want to be the best? Mm, of course I prefer to win, but truthfully it was never that important to me. I'm thankful that I could enjoy the game in an era before that became so important. Huh. That's interesting. Enjoy the game. That's that's good. That's cool. Royal Road. I want to know about your Sally Crown. Neither Jet nor I have been able to experience one yet. Mm, I'm certain no everything I could tell you. This studio was smaller, advanced, fewer, the grand finals when it hosted in aircraft hangars. But what was going through your head? It's actually possible for us to have a normal conversation with you, unlike, say, look. I was often nervous. I practiced hard, but never an amount I wasn't comfortable with. If I was born five years later, you may never have learned my name. Does that make me a worse champion than Locke, Shrink, or Fields? I hope not. I never thought I'd be a champion. Sorry, all I wanted was to play a game I love. Well, I will admit, I found life much more stressful once I had taken that victory. My goals became vague and less compelling. I began to think about what I would leave behind, whether I would still enjoy StarCraft if I stayed past my prime. So that's why you left your legacy. Ah, can you imagine me as a pro gamer today? Yeah, I left because I got what I was after and now I can play the game I love however I want. Ooh. Hold on, I have something I want to say before you ask anything else. Ah, your Starly Queen was genuinely inspiring me. You played Zerg against an established hero of our scene and came out on top. I'll never forget the night of your victory. Nobody expected you to win because of who you were and you did anyway. How did it feel to prove everyone wrong? Mm, it felt good. Were you expecting more? Yeah, that's it! I was much more focused on what my friends thought than my by the tractors did. I know what you're asking, Chang Song, but our situations weren't the same. I don't have an answer for you. what to want, who to listen to. Those are things you need to decide for yourself. <sighs> okay. <sighs> What else do we have in the star sense? <sighs> KDG You came to Korea, beat all of our players, took the crown, disappeared. You really spoke in interviews, but you always seemed smug to me. And you made KDG retire. But that beating was what we needed. Thanks for that, I guess. Don't talk to him like that! You can be blunt with me. I don't blame you for your pride. I always mentioned the pros I watched as kid had ascended to greater things, even you. Uh, but I have stuck with me treasure memories and the home I love. You can't ask for more than that. And you know, KDG and I share drinks on the weekends. Sometimes we even stop by a PC bank. Hey? Huh? Nah, what? They are good friends. Yeah! For someone who became such an overnight success and was quite tired, most of us know so little about you. My career was great back then, so actually it was hard to share anything about myself. I'm from Sweden. Like every pro gamer, I played games exclusively as a child, and when I finished high school, I went to Korea. You're just so normal. Why do you expect the only foreign Sally winner to have some incredible story? I do have an incredible story, but I was lucky enough to make it happen myself. Sometimes feel bad about disengaging with StarCraft, here and abroad, but I still watch, I still read, and anyone quite touched in a positive way I'm thankful towards. Jet turns and stares at me, as if to say, this is the guy you've been complaining about since we're kids, feel bad. That's everything I can hope to bring to this StarCraft Legends attention. I'm not sure how I feel about him, but I'm glad I took the time to hear him out. I've got to get going, my wife will yell at me if I'm back too late. <laughs> It was a pleasure to speak with you, Chai Young, and, uh, sorry, may I know your name? Sung Kwan Lee, Bolt. Then, Chai Young and Sung Kwan, good luck to you both. Come, Link. He's 
Pomene, Pomeranian yaps back as he takes off. I feel the urge to follow, but stop when Jet raises her eyebrow at me. Sorry. You don't have to say anything, you can prove your thanks to him and every other programmer will try blaze this path for us. Would you mind if I walked you back to the renowned house? I can't let you, Sun Quan. Not until this is over. Jet lines up. She glanced back at me, waiting for me to join her. And they run. They run. They run. And they run. Alright. So, the battle. The battle. Let's keep it for the next episode. For now, hope you enjoyed. And hope to see you tomorrow as well. We'll continue there. We'll have the battle. Yeah. Bye-bye.